वेलकम बैक रेवन टू अनदर वीडियो एंड इन दिस वन वील बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट अ न्यू बोर्ड इन माय कलेक्शन बट इट्स स्टिल अ फेयरली ओल्ड बोर्ड नाउ द रीजन व्हाई आई गॉट दिस आई विल एक्सप्लेन अलोंग द वे दिस इज द बनाना पाई एम वन प्लस सो दिस इज द रिविजन टू द ओरिजिनल बनाना पाए बाय सिन वी ओ आई पी आई थिंक द फर्स्ट बनाना पाए वॉज बाय लिम मेकर एंड देन सिन वी ओ आई पी स्टार्ट इन मेकिंग दैम सो दिस इज द वाई फाई रिविजन ऑफ द एम वन सो स्टिल प्रिटी ओल्ड एंड वील टेक अ लुक एट इट्स स्पेक्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट थिंग्स एंड लेट सी हाउ दैट गोज सो हियर वी हैव इन साइड इट्स प्रोटेक्टिव पैकेजिंग and i think it's easy tear so there that goes and here is the board itself in all of its glory so uh, first of all of course you can see the the ever so fancy uh, all winner 820 so let's get straight to the specs this is a dual core cortex a7 clocked at 1 gigahertz or 1.2 gigahertz somewhere it says 1 somewhere it says 1.2 and it's actually uh, not as it's it, the single core performance should be faster than a raspberry pi 2 but the multi core uh, shouldn't should not be faster than raspberry pi 2 actually it should be uh, almost half so we'll take a look in the uh, benchmarks and all of that stuff that i have lined up but it also has a dual core mali uh, 400 mp2 so uh, i think that should be interesting and that's the part of the reason i have this board is that the gpu on this thing is actually working uh, in the ubuntu builds and images so again this should be interesting uh, along those lines we have a gig of ram so i think it's ddr3 or ddr2 not entirely sure uh we have the hdmi full 1080p uh, the camera and the lvds display we have a gigabit ethernet so very interesting to have gigabit ethernet on such an old board it does say gigabit ethernet i will have to check on it uh, and then we have two usb 2s so uh, and and then here we have our SATA connector, so SATA SATA, whatever you say, it's uh, compatible with 1.5 gigabit and one uh, and three gigabit uh, SATA connections, and this right here is the five volt power for uh, SATA drives. Uh, I don't know what sort of connector goes there, but uh, I think we'll find it out. We have some boot and power switches, uh, IR sensor. Uh, we have our audio jack here, and then UART debug port. uh and then we have two micro usb one this one is for otg and this one is for power so uh two micro usbs and then uh so we have wifi and bluetooth as well or maybe it's just wifi uh and then we have a micro sd card slot so no emmc only micro sd uh one thing i would like to note that for all any of you wondering the sata is not on a usb hub it's actually in build the sata uh, interface is in build into the soc so you will not have any issues while uh, you know using the usb port and sata together there will hopefully will not be any uh, you know bandwidth limitations not sure how the gigabit how that is implemented uh, usb is via i think a, a usb hub and then audio is also in built uh apart from that that is the board uh I, i guess it would be interesting the a20 is actually pretty most uh, one of the better supported all winner uh, chipsets and the a64 is the worst supported all winner chipset and i have the a64 on the banana pi m64 and it hasn't been uh, that good of a board in terms of support barely anything runs on it and uh, i think the design of this board fairly matches the original raspberry pi here i have the dusty fairly dusty uh, original raspberry pi it's a big bigger than it but the uh, placement of the ports are uh, is similar so this is on top of each other and you can see that the uh, banana pi m1 is actually fairly larger but apart from that the a20 actually has really good support free bsd actually has official support for this chipset and uh, actually works pretty darn well 
apart from that i don't think there is much to see so that would be it for this unboxing and first look at the uh, banana pi m1 plus i will go ahead and boot the operating system next i will be booting ubuntu uh, I, I don't really want to run um, android on this right now maybe sometime down the line but it supports android 4.2 apart from that yes let's go ahead boot up ubuntu and that's it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing and i will see you all in the next one let's go ahead and boot ubuntu and see how it looks